Today on Grow Up With Science, we're just having a greenhouse update. So a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded my first video, which was how to feed tomato plants. And in that video, we started a bit of an experiment where we was gonna feed one tomato plant tomato food, one was getting just plain water, and one was getting all purpose plant food, and we was gonna compare the difference between the plants. So today, we're just doing a bit of an update, show you how they're coming along. If you haven't watched that first video, maybe go back and watch it before you watch this one, and you'll get a bit of a background on what we're actually doing. Oh wait. So we have plant one, two and three. We've got plant one on the left, which is tomato food. Plant two in the middle, which was just plain water. Plant three on the right, which was the all-purpose plant food. And the first difference you can see is the height. So plant one on the left, it, you know, look at that. It's like pretty much twice the height of the one in the middle. Even just after such a short amount of time, it's already grown quite considerably from getting the plant food. Plant three on the right, maybe halfway in between those two. So not quite as big, but it's still bigger than the one in the middle. The second difference you can see is the obvious colour. So one and three, they're both quite a bit darker than the one in the middle, which is a bit yellow, which is a nitrogen deficiency. The next difference, got to look a bit closer, but plant one, which has been getting the tomato food, is actually uh, flowering quite a bit more than the other two. So there's quite a few different little uh, clusters on here of flowers which will hopefully be developing tomatoes soon but plant one in the middle it's got one lot and then plant three it, you know it's it's got two lots there but still not as much as plant one so all in all I mean if you remember when I first put these in I got them reduced for 50p each in B&Q and they're looking a bit sorry but a bit of plant food a bit of water and they've come along great and they don't look that much different from the ones that I grew from seeds so it's always worth having a look and if they've got them you might as well pick them up. So at the start of that video I was feeding the tomato plants and that's these ones here and they've probably grown nearly two feet in three weeks so these are also starting to flower quite nicely. This one in the middle is absolutely massive uh, and I've had to start supporting them all because they're all starting to fall over already so uh, just there I've got some Atlantic giant pumpkins on the go and then this is some, a couple of other bits I got from B&Q in the reduced section as well. So this one on the left is just a beef tomato plant. I think that's also starting to flower now. And then a little patio cherry tomato thing in the middle. Just behind those we've got some lunchbox peppers. Got four of these on the go. They're really starting to take off now. Telepathy cucumbers. There's, these were a bit slow starting at the beginning. So I'm glad that these have started to take off a bit and that they're starting to uh, get a bit of growth on them. And then behind these we've got some more tomatoes. Uh, these are Gardener's Delights. Same as just in the back corner there. Now those ones in the corner I think I think they're probably just getting too much sun. They're just not not growing the same as all the others but uh, what can you do? These ones here, these are actually uh, these are actually younger than the ones in the corner and they're, they're doing much better and they've not been treated any differently so I'm assuming it's just uh, maybe they've, they've just been so close to the glass over there and they're not quite liking it. Uh, these are just starting to flower a bit as well there so all doing well. Got a courgette plant over there, that's quite new so that's just starting to take off a bit. Then we've got some gherkins here, these are going absolutely mental. Uh, can't tie these up quick enough, these are starting to flower as well so hopefully start getting some nice fruit growing on those quite soon. So then we've got my uh, Kiwi Jenny plant here. It's a self-fertile variety so it's looking quite happy actually in the greenhouse. Uh, hopefully in a couple of years I'll be flowering producing fruit. So then just on this side I've got a couple of cucumbers and a courgette and these actually germinated first. These are the oldest plants in here and they're actually the smallest so I'm not sure what's gone on there but you know they're coming along now they're starting to uh, get a bit of a grow on so hopefully they'll be getting some cucumbers going soon and just in this corner we've got some jalapeno plants which are uh, starting to come along nicely as well so everything's taking off and then just outside we've got the uh, sunflower plants which are doing great so they're going to be massive by the looks of it so that's it for today, just a short video, just to give you an update on the tomatoes and show you around the rest of the greenhouse. So when I come back in another three weeks maybe, give you a second update, be able to show you those plants as well and we can see how they're all coming along in such a short amount of time. So until then, why don't you subscribe to Grow Up With Science so that you don't miss those videos and let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions for those tomatoes in the corner just to bring them back a bit. And I'll see you then.